don't, we'll like and subscribe. Oh yeah, hey, like and subscribe please. We love hanging out with you. <laughs>
to one of my favorite places. Remember where I saw the lizard and I was FaceTiming with you guys? Yeah. Flirting with my new lizard friend, yes. <laughs> go, follow Lucas, go find the water. Cause I mean, look, just like, <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> And there's like nobody back here. So it's just quiet. <sighs> okay. But I have somewhere for us to be. No later than 11.15 and that's 15 minutes from now. Do you see the water? You want some water? Okay. You can, you can sit down for a second. What do you think so far? I think it's cool. Okay, do you like Pandora? Do you like... I like Pandora. Yeah. <laughs> I already knew that I like Pandora because, you know, the movies. I'm, really, I'm a really big fan of the movies, but I like this. Yeah. It's great. They even said that they think that Animal Kingdom is now their favorite park. Yeah. That's okay. You can, you can now say to everybody that Mama was right. I never said you weren't right. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, they still don't, they still didn't acknowledge it, right? <laughs> I never said you weren't right. <laughs> I think Aaron's excited. <laughs> it jumps fast, doesn't it? Look up, Lorelei. It's that. Yeah. Find page 12. Page 12? Good oh. job, buddy. Thank you. Now she's going to give you another badge. Yeah. You guys earned it. Look at that. Ooh. You've got another sticker. <laughs> All right, let's put it back in the let's put it back in the backpack so we can yep. go on. What do you think, guys? That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Was it? Fun becoming a wilderness explorer? Yes! Lorelai, do you go, Arr. Arr. No, no, no. No? Okay. Lucas, do you do it? He's holding things. <laughs> yeah. Cheater. <laughs> it's a bit warmer today. But what did you guys think of the night blossom? Of the what? The night blossom. Oh, the drink? That I think that's good. good. Yeah, well, what did it roll? I think it rolled like a 14. Aaron didn't like the first one, but they liked the second. <laughs> the first one. The first one was murdered. By Aaron. <laughs> Over. Oh, you know, it's, 14 or 15, it's, which it's like the it's like the clue game. It was it was done by Aaron with the barrel behind the robot. <laughs> it's like playing clue. Mm -hmm. How was Hi, it murdered? Ma. Lucas, what did the night blossom roll for you? A 16, all right. Lorelai, would you like to give a number for your night blossom? 100. Everything is a 100. You know, that's fine. I'm glad you're finding joy, that much joy in everything. 100 million. 100 million, oh my goodness. All right, we had adult versions. I had basically 
well, it's not this pretty. I'll insert a video to the side of this, but this um, is the Night Blossom, but it has rum with it. I would, I'd probably give it like a 12. I mean, it's sweet, it's tangy and it's tart. I definitely sucked it down because, oh, oh shoot, that's not mine. Hey, take this, this is yours. It's hard to tell the difference. This is mine, but you can tell the difference because it has a stripey straw. So stripey straws are alcoholic. Um, also, if you go to Joffrey's and you get a coffee and you, you put bathroom, some alcohol into it, then you can't have it. But yes, um, very good. I'll you know show you next to it. This actually looked like this. But yes, very, very tasty. It had a rum flow. I, I mean, yeah, I'd give it like a 12. It's sweet. It's a mixed pre-prepped drink. But if you're looking for something like tangy and kind of refreshing then yeah it was nice it was it, I mean it was good it did the trick Duke's on the other hand I feel like was sweeter for a frozen margarita it was good you, you actually can taste the alcohol which is something that we like to talk about you know celebrating the spirits of it yeah um, it's a little bit strong for that which is also good in my book but yeah three out of the five ingredients were alcohol yeah. I would say probably 50% of that is gonna be blue curacao probably um, but it's also really sweet. And yeah, it was very, very sweet. And that's, I think, where, I, where it loses me, is that it's yeah. just super sweet. It was overwhelming. Yeah. So, I mean, it was good. Got a 10 from me. It's a frozen margarita, whatever. But I think that had they balanced it a little bit better, it would have been a lot more fun. I agree. That said, it's a quick service, quick drink. So, I mean, right, I don't right have... Right out of one of those little mixing things. Yep, that's right. We are off to Africa. Like, just in general, it feels like it's such an empty park. It's not very busy. Well, yeah. and again, it's hot. Yeah. So I'm sure a lot of people are trying to find ways to get out of it. But, I don't know, Aaron, a little bit warm? A little. A little. Aaron's feeling it today. Aaron's feeling it today. We are going to go see some gorillas. And then we are going to go have some lunch. We're really, really looking forward to cooling down, too. Totally yeah. for it. And I'm, I'm ready to have like some club soda instead of just like, you know, water fountain water. <laughs> yeah. The kids are actually really having fun with these little wilderness explorer bundles. I would definitely recommend it if you are coming with littles. It gives them just a fun way to interact with the park. Luke has been all over that book. Where can I find more sites? Where can I learn more? So that's definitely exciting and fun for them. It gives them something different. And guess what? They're learning something and they don't even realize it. <laughs> trails sure it's not an attraction it's not a ride but it's fun it's fun to go see the animals it's fun to tuck away it's usually where it's less congested yep and it's just fun it's nice everybody else is driving for the rides right yeah. like that's all people care about i want the rides and it's like some of this stuff is you don't need the rides to have fun you don't oh, here it is okay we're walking in the gorilla one that's right come on we gotta follow daddy Yep, and Lucas. And Lucas. Walk behind Lucas. Thank you. No, it's 60. Yeah, we can go on here. No wonder. Cool. All right, where are you visiting from? Ooh. Virginia. From where? Virginia. At the gorilla. Yeah. We're going to go see the gorillas. Yeah. We're going to go see the gorillas. Already got our map, that's right. We're really close to the, um, yeah. we're really close to the, um, safari. Can you go to the right side of the trail, please? Right, Lorelai, scoot over the other way. Thank you, right side, perfect. Oh, wait, come here. Look up high, Lorelai. Do you see them way up there? No, over here, come here. Look up there. Oh, I don't think she can see from here. Come over, come back here. Right here. Let's see, can you see them? Can you see the monkeys up there? They're white oh, from wow. Do you see them? They're laying out. They're all hot. Uh, I'm taking a nap. Into the hotness. Into the hotness. Into the hotness. 
<laughs> Beware of buffalo. Dun dun dun. Who's back there? What's her, what is she called? Remember? It was like your favorite word for a week. Oh, copy. That's an okapi. Remember? Do you remember looking at the okapi on TV? That's the okapi in real life. She's really back there. Isn't that hey, amazing? Lucas. Isn't it cool? Yeah. Look, you can see her stripes if you can. Kind of looks like a zebra. Yes, but they're actually, look over here. They're actually a member of the giraffe family. Remember what I was telling you? Pretty cool, huh? So even though they have stripes like a zebra, they're actually part of the giraffe family. Isn't that cool? Pretty neat. And then see, look. Lucas, you can really see the, the similarities here. Look at how their heads are shaped. It's just a smaller version. Pretty cool, huh? What we just saw? We're going to put some giraffes in. You look at them pictures. Yeah, I don't know why that feels weird, but yeah. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? Strong steel on honors. All right. Ooh. But that's a whole different topic. This is Disney, not Sack That's right. So what are we going to go see in oh. here? What do you see? What do you see, baby girl? They're so small, oh, huh? There's a boa constrictor. Oh. Where's the boa? It's hiding under this rock. Did you see it? Yeah. See it back here under the rock? This is a snake. Oh, yeah. He's right there. Yeah. Do you know what type of snake? It says right here. It says a boa constrictor. That's right, buddy. See the snake? Oh my God. No, that's small. The toad is underneath. I'm pretty sure that's the toad right there. Yeah. Right where? <laughs> right there. He's a chunky boy. No, now I'm just. He's big. Oh, that's cool. Fish. Yes, do you see them? I see a blue fish. Yes. Look at all those fish in there. Are they pretty? What one is your favorite? The blue one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, of course. Thank you. How are you today? Good, thank you. Oh, they want to look at the they want to look at the skulls. That's okay. You guys can look if you want. Pretty crazy, huh? You see it? Hold on, let her out first. There you go. Huh? Yeah, they're laying down. Isn't that cool? Why aren't they eating the fish? We've seen a lot of. See? Oh, we've. You know, I remember. I remember hearing about Miss Cow. We've been watching a lot of the Animal Kingdom shows in the mornings on the weekend. Yeah. How are you doing today? That was so cool. I've never heard him that. Oh yeah, it's very loud when you're not listening. <laughs> was that cool, Luke? <laughs> Hi, what do you think, Lorelai? So cool. So cool. Huh? I know. I've like I there's nothing that I've been at. There's no place I've been at where I've been able to hear them that loudly. I loved that it was amplified through there. It was so cool. Do you see the zebras? Yes. They are so cool. Happy birthday. So we are 
talking about tracking. Tracking is on page 18. So when I was in the African savannah today, I found this paw print. Any guesses on what it is? Oh, I know. Yeah, that's that's totally like a, maybe an antelope, right? What do you think, Luke? Is that right? <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna go with a gorilla. Know. Is it a gorilla? A gorilla? No. <laughs> so there you go. Okay, you're thinking right. now. So it says roar. Is it a lion? It is a lion. Yeah. So this is a lion, and the lion is missing something from its paw print. Do you know what it is? The claws. The claws. Yeah, because lions can scratch and they can open their prey with their claws. Do you have a house cat at home, or do you know a house cat? Yes, we do. Yeah. So what can they do with their claws? Uh, they scratch on things. They can definitely they scratch them. back into their paw. Yeah, they can also pull them back into their paw. And lions can do that as well. It's like... We blow them through to get to lunch and then come back. We can always, and we can always backtrack too, I think. But we can... It's okay. I can check us in. So, this is a behavioral study chart called an ethogram. This is what scientists use to track behaviors in the wild. So right now on this chart, they're studying gorillas, right? So every time they see a gorilla doing something, they say, hey, you're going to Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you for right? Yes, please. Thank you. We got two. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. I know. I forget about his, too. <laughs> we all look at the kids, right? It's all good. It's just going to take the pin off. I know, huh? Okay, come on, buddy. We're gonna follow her. Ooh, so it's a, it's a yeah. All you can eat. That's better for forty pounds. Instead Sexy. of like for sixty. <laughs> like yeah. It's so adorable. I know. We are in Tusker House for lunch, so we actually snagged a last-minute reservation. We were just gonna kind of do quick service stuff today, but we honestly, it just, it sounded good. We could make it work. There was a reservation, so we did. We just decided to come on in. Plus, it gives Lorelai one more opportunity to visit with some of her friends. I don't know if you can see Donald is over here going around, but there's the whole Fab Five in here, and it's just, it's great. They have their safari outfits, and it's really nice, especially if you're. Um, if you're someone who likes um, Eastern, Near Eastern, African inspired foods, you're gonna find that here. It's gonna be something a little bit different instead of just like a puffy pizza or a burger. Um, so this is definitely a good place to go, but there is a buffet and there's all kinds of stuff for kids. So you're gonna be able to find it. Right, it's really loud like a cafeteria. But yeah, there's all kinds of great stuff for kids' foods. So it's really, really great for the whole family. Are you hungry? <laughs> hey. Do you like it? Yeah. Hey Lorelai, is it yummy? Yeah? Everyone's wolfing their food down, but I thought I would give you a quick look at what it looks like. Thank you so much. How are you doing, Daisy? 
You good? You good? Yeah. It's hot outside. We're glad we're in here. Did you do the safari this morning? Oh, it's your no, birthday. It's my birthday. Hey. Yeah. Hers too. Yep. <laughs> yeah, she's yeah, gonna Macy's show you. Macy's on there too. That's right. See, she signed it too. Right and it's your oh, first it's your first time. visit. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you give her another hug. Another hug. <laughs> Thank you so much, Daisy. Thank you. Daisy. Thank you. We love, we love great. You're my you're my favorite. You're my favorite duck. You're my favorite everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Daisy. Aww. <laughs> okay, you gotta finish your lunch now a little bit. Hi Daisy. Thank you. Hi Mickey. Hi Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> says, I love you. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Uh, that's, that's the, he was singing to you. Yeah. Say thank you, Mickey. Thank you so much, Mickey. Was it hot on the safari today? Yeah, it's pretty warm out there. You had lots of water in your canteen. Yeah, yeah. I got to stay hydrated. Lots of water, right, guys? See, Lorelai, look. Yeah. That is for, that's for Lorelai to, yeah, oh, yeah, she's showing you all her friends on her back. <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay, Lorelai, do you see, do you see where his water canteen is? That is so he can stay hydrated, just like you. Plenty of water. Lots of water, right? Right? Drink water. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mickey. Thank you so much, Mickey. Have a good day, Chloe. <laughs> one more hug. Oh, one more hug. Thank you so much, Mickey. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mickey. All right, you got to finish your lunch. Okay, Lorelai. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, Lorelai, you got to go. other friends, okay? Sit down. Thank you. All right, Lucas, I know you're still eating that cookie, but how did Tusker House roll for you? This is Tusker House. <laughs> What did it roll for you? Twelve. I'm sad Lorelai didn't get to see Minnie. A mean, twelve? Yeah. Oh yeah, she did meet me. She missed Goofy. Lorelai. I didn't roll it. I would say a twenty. You say it's a twenty? Oh. But on her on her behalf, I'd say a twenty. Oh, okay. A twelve. Lorelai, do you want to give me a number for Tusker House? What is it? 100, 100, 100. A lot of 100s, okay. Yeah, that's totally, totally crazy. Mm, coziness. All right, you. What do you think, Tusker House? I think they're all a solid 18. The food 18. was good. The environment's pretty good. Uh, service was nice. Uh, yeah, I think they're all a solid 18. Cool beans, yeah. I would probably roll, I would say that it rolled. Probably a 15. Yeah, I would say it rolled like a 15. Um, I mean, the food is pretty decent. It's definitely, you know, got more flavor than a lot of other places you could go to. And of course the characters, you don't see them in their safari outfits anywhere else. So that is a, that is a huge, huge plus. So I would definitely, yeah. But we'll have to wait and see what Duke says. They're, the wilderness explorers are wilderness explorers. They're, they're wilderness exploring with their sounds. But yes, we'll have to see what Duke said. Yeah. But yeah, we'll have to see what Duke said. I'm curious. I'm curious if any of you guys have done Tusker House or if you have a favorite place that you like to go here in Animal Kingdom. Um, if you're looking for recommendations, let me know. I would love to give you some feedback with um, other places that I have tried and that I've had you know, friends go to. They say that there's really a good value for it. Or just like different unique things like the, um, the Annapurna truck has some really cool snacks at it and people tend to pass right by it. They look at it and think it's pretty, but a lot of times they think it's a decoration and don't realize you can get food there. So yeah, I'm curious. Tell me what you tell me what you've tried. 
pretty cool, huh? Look, you can put your hands in there. See? That's a six-year-old male. Six-year-old? Yeah, isn't that crazy? You're, I know your hands definitely do not fit these. Nope. <laughs> pretty cool, huh? Big, big, big hands. Wow. Hi, Peanut. See the baby? See the baby in her arms? No. That might be Gino in the corner over there, but I can't tell. What do you think, Lorelai? Is that pretty cool? Yeah? That's right, the mama has a little baby, huh? Can I go to Gino? Can I go to Gino? I don't know if it's Gino, you can ask. It is Gino. Alright, let's go see Gino. Come see. See Gino? That's the big daddy gorilla right over there. See? That's Gino. Yeah. Oh, he's big. He's big. I wasn't expecting Willis to be that big. Yes, very big. He's a big guy. He's pretty cool though, huh? He's moving the straw. Come over here. Yeah. Come over right here. Here, pause right here if you want to look. Trail marker one? It was right back there. But what is it? Trail marker eight. Trail mark. It's not on here. Oh, you have to look at it. We need to, we need to get to nine in order to. Oh, okay. So nine's All right. the next one. Yeah. It's All right. Nine. You can go in and get the other one back there. Come here, look. Come here. Come here. Come here. There's Come another here. friend on the other side of the Come tree. <laughs> so they're playing hide and seek. He's like, I see you. <laughs> he was hiding, huh? Yes. Hey, buddy. So they just put out a whole bunch of fruit. <gasps> and now they brought all the gorillas out here. Wildlife Express. For a safe journey, remember to stay seated, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. Sit all the way back against the bench, and please be sure to watch your children. Asante. We come through here on the safari. Here's to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Here, you'll discover a wide range of animal adventures. From the affection section, where you can get up close and personal with domesticated animals like goats, sheep, and more, to sneak peeks at animal care in action. At Restore Beaky's Planet Watch. Here, you'll discover a wide range of animal adventures. From the affection section, where you can get up close and personal with domesticated animals like goats, sheep, and more, to sneak peeks at animal care in action. Addition of animals and animation reaches all the way back to Walt Disney himself and his long-standing passion for conservation. To the mighty African elephant, the species we care for here at Disney's Animal Kingdom are some of the very same animals that inspired an animated classic. <laughs> Alright, come on, we're going to go see some animals. Let's go. Come on, Peanut. I'm gonna go walk the food. Ooh. Yeah. 
you want me to hold your cup, buddy? Here, I'll hold your cup for you. And you go to two Say zero, two zero. And you find the number that's two zero. It's down in the bottom. Find the number that's two and zero. Now, when you find it, there you go. I want you to circle it. Then come back, and we'll give you your badge. All right, let's go find the animals. Come. Let's look over here first. Let's see who we can find. What can we find? Oh, yes. What'd you find? You got to circle them. Ooh, I see. Okay, so okay in the dragonfly. Where is it? Very cool. I also see. That's right. I see. Are those ants or are those? Those look like. Oh, those are ants. Can you circle the ant? Good. Oh, that's okay. We'll fix it. We'll find another one. It's okay. All right. What else? Lorelai. What are we looking for? Oh, you saw the ladybug. Yes. Good job. What are we looking for? Hey, gentle. All the bugs. Um, I found the. Lorelai, what's this? What's that? Ah! I found the beetle. Let me see. What did you find, Luke? <gasps> wow. Then the tarantula is down there. Hey, oh, I do see the tarantula. Uh oh, I think it's coming right for us. <laughs> oh, don't you dare. They're so nice. They're so docile. Uh, now we need the. Uh, wait, we already found the ladybug, right? We did. Okay. Ooh, so we need it. You found the frog. You found the frog. You just missed it. You missed her going. Where? Yeah. Oh, you didn't see it? Come here. There's the tortoise. And then here's the frog. Oh, there's the frog. What else are you missing? We're missing the bee and the butterfly. Ooh, the bee and the butterfly. I bet you the bee is going to be near a flower. Oh, I found the bee. Where is it? Where's the butterfly? <gasps> That's a monarch, huh? It is a monarch. You're really warm. And I don't mean because it's a hot day. I mean, location-wise, you're really warm. Hotter? Nope. Colder. I found it. <gasps> yep, you don't need to touch them. We're good. <laughs> Did you find it? Oh, that is sad. That bee. Aww. He's going to die now. <laughs> That's their stingers. But yeah, he's probably going to die without the wing as well. <laughs> yep. Good. Let's see. Did you find them all? Let's see if we found everybody. You find everybody? Yep. Uh, I think so. Yep. yep. All right. Let's Very go cool. Back. All right. Talk to did our troop leader. Did you find all the animals? Yes. Talk to Amazing. Leader. Which ones were your favorites? Rabbit. Rabbit. Awesome. How about you? Which was your favorite? Tarantula. Tarantula. <laughs> Those are pretty cool animals, right? Was it fun to find all the different friends? Critters. In the, like, the critters? I yeah. Like bats. I like bats. You like bats? You like the bats? Rabbits? I like bats. I think bats are cool. Have you guys seen the animals in here before? This is a red one. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. They, they have a little Mickey in the house. Yep. A Dr. Mickey, a vet Mickey. Yeah. Excuse me, Lucas. Just a little Do you see bit. it? You. Yep. You Lucas, you can still see. Good job, buddy. Do you see it? What's down here? Do you see the frog? The tonk. Yes. The Tonkin. Tonkin. Tonkin He's talking or tonk? Talking? What's he talking about? <laughs> Do you see it? I don't see it. I wonder if it's around the other side. What else do we see? European fire salamander. Ooh, so it's like the fire spirit. Probably, yeah. Where is it? Does the Emperor Newt know the king? Oh, that's a good question. That's a very good question. Now that they share Where kingdoms. Right. <laughs> the one in front of me. Lorelai, look over here. Do you see the frogs right here? Look at those blue, purpley oh. frogs. Isn't that cool? I would really freak out if I saw that. Like I, I would, I I would just be like, oh, that's a lot of no, that's a lot of no. Oh, yep. Okay. Thank you.
in the park. He's taking us to find the smallest hidden Mickey in the park. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, come on, we're gonna go see a big snake. Mom knows. Go over to the window. It's an Argentine boa. Look, he's right here. Oh my god, he's big. Oh my god. He's a big snake. Oh, he is huge. Yeah, he is. Aaron's very happy because I'm we're up here happy. at Rafiki's Planet Watch having a lovely time Whoa. and now there's the petting zoo and Aaron's over here like <laughs> Laurel is pretty excited too. Listen, oh hey, God. rules, listen. All right, yes indeed. Books. So you are free to pet, scratch, and give all those lovely touches to all the animals out here. However, please be careful to avoid their faces and especially their mouths. That means don't try and feed them anything. Don't offer your scent to them. And if they do start to lick or nibble at you, like the hem of your shirt, your leg, your arm, something like that, just take one big step back and they will stop, okay? Okay, All thank right, you. Thank you so much. Are you having an okay day? Are you having an okay day? Good oh, day? Oh yeah, it's been very good. Is she touching? Can you say try. hi? Can you try. Yeah. See, I'll say hi. Do you want to do it with me? You want to hold on with my hand? Put your hand on my hand. Okay, we'll go together. Okay, turn. Go through. Oh, I'm too thick. Here, I'll go down here and you go right above. Or you go right here. Go right here. Just touch. Little touches. <gasps> See? See, it's okay. Say thank you. Thank you, friends. Thank you, friends. Do you want a brush? Right there, buddy. Go grab a brush. <laughs> I'm lucky. <laughs> Look at this one. Look. He's just moving. He's not going to get you. I'm going to come out. That's Mushu. Very Hi, cool. Mushu. Yep. And this is Miko. Hi, Miko. Tugs, Bueller, Kit. Can I ask you what's the name of the little one back here? Close. His name is Gus. Yes. I'm sorry? Gus? Yes. Okay. Hey, hey baby. You want that photo? Hello? Huh? Over here. Let's stay right here, okay? We're trying to see who's in charge. You get back. I'm moving. Hold back. Can you get him up? <laughs> 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 Lord, I bet. I'm going to get it out of here. Excuse me. We just got done at the petting zoo area and it was actually really fun. <laughs> it was really cute. What did you think? I thought it was really fun. Yeah? yeah. What did you yeah. think, buddy? It was funny. I like it. It was funny. It was only funny because some of them were fighting. Yeah. Lorelai, did you like it? Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah? Was it your favorite or no? Yeah, it was my favorite. It was your Two favorite? Two of them were fighting and one of them was trying to like, lick the other one. They like. It was really silly. But it's not. Let's go take the train back. Was there anything in particular you really enjoyed about the Tiki's Planet Watch? Um, it was a, I feel like it was a really short visit, so I was just close to like timing and whatnot, and it was getting close to closing, so right now I would probably say the petting zoo, um, but I would definitely like to go back and explore more of that. Do you want to do the animation thing? I would like to try that idea, yeah. or like the sketch thing that That's we, what that is. Yeah, 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 the one that we blocked in. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to try that. I think that would be super fun. Yeah. And I would definitely like to come back when they have that big snake out. Yes. Because I'd like to pet the snake. They have like a 10 foot python that they, that's named Midnight. That, that would be, that would be so totally pretty. rad to be able to see her and like touch her. It's literally like the only reason 
I want a well, not the only reason. I have like two reasons I want a steak. One, because steaks are cool. Two, because I'd love to just you know be walking around doing my thing and having the steak just like coiled up on my arm. Just, you know. That one you can't coil up on your arm like you're thinking. Why not? <laughs> Ten feet and all. I wonder how heavy it is. Did he happen to say? I don't Dennis. think so, but I'd, have, I'd imagine it'd be amazing. like. I'd imagine it'd be pretty heavy, like ten yeah, to ten feet. Something like that's pounds. gotta be. That's, she's gonna be heavy. Yeah, big girl, big girl. Yeah. Different, definitely two armholes. I would think, and like around your neck. <laughs> oh, here comes the train! Yay! Welcome aboard the Wildlife Express with service from Rafiki's Planet Watch to the village of Harambe. As you head back out into Disney's Animal Kingdom, we hope you take with you a great appreciation for the very journey that led us here. I think these are really cool because you just see all these really interesting detailed designs. But what's really cool though is that they created all this stuff so that it actually replicates what they saw when they did their research travels. So it's really neat. Yeah. All right, guys, let's go on a safari. yellow saddle shape on their bill and they can grow to be about five feet tall, which is also just about my height but if you look behind those rocks on the left there's it's a, a little hard to there. see it might look like there is a moving rock back see there. see if we can find another one up ahead that was the black there. rhino the black rhino is a smaller rhino here on the reserve and of their species they do weigh around 3,000 or so pounds those horns and they lean backwards so that they don't get caught on anything while they are running here through the forest girls who like to hang out near the water they do this to either keep cool or just to stay hydrated and they also do like to go for a swim to cool off just like you and i do so keep your eyes out for any that might be hard to see but we hopefully will see a couple more up ahead so don't worry if you can't see them now but there are also these birds here to the right kind of on that island the these are called peacock pelicans they get their name from that pink color under their wings and on their backs and as they approach mating season you will see them get a little bit brighter and they are what we call communal nesters about 150 to 200 pairs every season. Okay, yeah. On the left, we do have this bloat of Nile hippopotamus, so I'm like you saw back there. And these hippos here, they like to spend their time in the water like this. They're not always swimming around. They are just submerged like that. But when they do want to get around in the water, they prefer to walk on the ground because they are pretty heavy, weighing around 5,500 pounds. And they can do this because they can hold their breath about eight minutes at a time. That's true even in their sleep. It is just a natural instinct for them to come up for air. If you do want to get a closer look at those hippos, you can check out the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail. It's that walking trail right next door to our safari. They do have this thing called the hippo pool or the hippo viewing window, but it lets you see yeah. those hippos from an underwater perspective. And if you stay long enough, do you want to walk on that with me one day? Top for air and then come right back down. You don't want to walk on that? Bad you're searching for more of those hippos. You can also see a couple of those Nile see? crocodiles there to the left. Now the Nile crocodiles, they can grow to be about 18 to 20 feet long. And like this one here in the grass is doing, they do like to hang out with their mouths wide open on very hot and sunny days. 
because they don't have any sweat glands and in order to cool off and release that body heat, they are going to do so through their mouths. Now those jaws that they have, they are incredibly strong because it does look like its roots are coming out from the top. Now a tree also gets the nickname the tree of life and that's because it can hold about 32,000 gallons of water. And so animals will use it kind of like a second source or a temporary source of water during those drier seasons when the water source on the ground sometimes dries up a little bit. And the bark of that tree, it just works like a sponge, so it absorbs all the water. And whenever an animal does need a sip or two, they'll peel off a bit of that bark and suck the water out of it. I do see a couple of those Maasai drafts up ahead, but we'll see if we can get a little bit closer to them. In the meantime, if you look kind of by that rock there next to that tree to the left of the tree, you'll see a spotted hyena sleeping there. Might be a little hard to see with these bushes. I'll move up a little bit. But that spotted hyena does get its name from those spots on its fur. And they are unique to each individual hyena that's common amongst a lot of animals here on the reserve. They have this characteristic that helps them identify one another. If anyone tries to sneak up on them, they will just be met with something very sharp that helps them be protected from their blind side. Hi there. These Maasai drafts that you see here, your spotting guide says reticulated drafts, but the reticulated drafts are now out by Animal Kingdom Lodge, so you can see them out there. But these drafts, they can grow to be a towering 20 feet tall. That is why a group of them is called a tower. And when they are born, they are already at six feet tall, which is great for nurturing purposes, but if they do need some help reaching those taller areas, they do have that prehensile tongue that I mentioned with the Okapi. Now their tongue can grow to be about 18 inches long, which is just about the length of your forearms, right about your elbow to where your fingertips are. And just like those other animals, like that zebra and spotted hyena, their spots are also unique to each individual. I have a couple of those African elephants here. They're gonna be on that right side. They get their name from the shape of it, their ears. It is similar to the shape of the continent of Africa. And like you see these doing here, they like to flap them back and forth. That is how they cool off kind of like their own personal built-in fan but it also does help release any body heat that might be trapped under their ears because those ears also do work like a blanket and it gets very hot under there thank you thank you all right what did you think that was pretty fun yeah did you like it oh good i'm glad you guys are happy Hi. have a good night Thank you. So what did what did the safari roll? roll? Huh? A oh, huh? A twenty? Oh, okay. <gasps> Do you have your? Where's your book? I know, but I was trying to get. All right, cool. And just so you remember it, what was the name of the truck? Simba One. The what? Simba One. The what? The what? Are you gonna forget it now? Simba One. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got yours in there too. Yay! Okay, are we ready? All right, let's go so we're not blocking the aisleway anymore. Thank you. Thank you so much. Come on, Lorelei, follow Daddy. Hey, are you happy to be sitting for a little bit? Yeah. Are you tired? Yeah. Yeah, you're really tired, huh? I want a color. You want a color? Oh, yeah, use your pencil. And then remember, inside your booklet, there was like all this notepad space for you. So you could do all kinds of coloring back here. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Hey Lucas, is it nice to sit back, relax, lean back, look at your book without us saying, Lucas, look up, you're running into people? <laughs> it's been a long day of that. Yeah, it has been, huh? Well, what was your favorite thing? <laughs> Finally being able to see Pandora. Yeah? You liked it a lot? Happy? I'm glad, really. I have a big choice of things that I Yes, you have some, you have souvenir money, don't you? Yeah. All right, Aaron, what about you? What was your favorite thing today? I mean, I know you love Avatar, so I'm sure seeing Pandora is kind of cool. Yeah. But we were only there a hot second, so. We were. Was there anything else? Or was Pandora it for you? The safari was fun. What does yeah. compost mean? Compost is like, you can, you can use things like eggshells and coffee grounds and different scraps from food and things like that. And it will actually decompose and be, and can be used as a fertilizer. Pretty cool, huh? So you think the safari was your favorite? Okay. 
Hey, Lorelai. <gasps> it's a potato person. No, it's a potato person. Who is that? Who is it? Close your eyes. Oh, close my eyes. Okay, my eyes are closed. My eyes are closed. Who is it? Now, open your eyes. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm peeking. Oh, no. Ah, ah. No peeking. No peeking. Mommy's not peeking. Oh, you see us. <laughs> what are you making? Your camera. Now open. Now you have a camera on. Wait, I have a, wait, is that me? Yes! This is me. Wow. This is your surprise. Oh, that's my surprise? Who is this, though? That's me? Oh, wow, okay, thank you. I'm gonna make you one last thing. Close your eyes. Oh, okay. Close my eyes. Okay, I'm, I'm closing. Don't peek it. <laughs> Aaron got a fizzy. I decided to go for the snow leopard, which is actually kind of like a mule, but this one, proceeds of this go to the conservation fund. But Duke has what I normally get, and that is a tempting tigress, and it's kind of like a take on an old fashioned, but it's definitely a tasty cocktail here at Nomad. Looking forward to it. Yeah. All right, let's see. I'm gonna, I like my, I like mine a little extra mint, so I'm gonna muddle my mint down into this. <laughs> I do, I do. I like them. I like it when it's more minty. But this looks really refreshing. All right. To an amazing trip to Disney. Yeah, it was a good trip. And cheers. Amazing trip oh, to Luke's Disney. Oh, Luke's coming around too. We're cheersing. We're cheersing. Yeah. We, to an amazing to trip at Disney. To an amazing trip at Disney. We are doing a top yeah. cheer. Here. You agree? Oh, a, a new, new yeah. Disney, okay. <laughs> She's already asking for another one. Lola, <laughs> no, like, we are going on another one. It's not bad, but we it's so sweet. Mm, okay. Yeah. So I tend to favor something citrusy, something refreshing. It's it's good. It's it's a it's a I can see what they mean by a mule, but it's definitely um, it's light on the carbonation, which is fine. I don't care, but it is heavy, heavy on the simple syrup. And I even tried to stir it up. It's pretty darn sweet. Wow, there's there's a good amount of alcohol in there though. You can you can taste it. They don't they don't fill it. You know what I mean. Yeah, that's sweet. I definitely get the ginger. Mm hmm I got that once I stirred it up some, I got more of the ginger. Yeah. I think that probably helped it, because I didn't get quite as sweet when I did. Yeah. It. Not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. No. It's just sweeter. Would you like some of your... Did you finish your water? Can you finish that for me? And then I will give you your lemonade. Hey, Aaron, how was your fizzy? It's good. Yeah? It's mangoey and... Mangoey and yummy. Uh -oh. Ooh. Our bread service has arrived. This is a modified version that's similar to what you would see at Sana, but it's fun. There's some fun sauces that go with some different savory breads. And then we got the lobster mac and cheese to split between Lucas and Lorelei. We're sitting here and Lorelei is asking us what we roll the different attractions and stuff. So she, you know, trying to have some conversation. And she kept saying, what do you think of the science one? What do you think of the science one? And I'm like, I don't, the science one totally, totally lost my mind. And then what did you say? You said the what one? The science. The science one yeah. with the purple dragon. And you work on your five and the upside, senses. And the upside down one. And the upside down. Yeah. Like now we get it. Butter. You like the upside down part? Did yes. you like figment? Yeah. He's my pig. Star? <laughs> and, and we rolled don't it make, on just don't make that come back to Yeah, there was a skunk part, huh? Yeah. yeah. what did you think of Figment? I like the upside down one. Because, you like the upside Because Figment was now upside down. 
Mm-hmm. He went upside down. His house went upside down too, huh? What? Yeah. Even the toilet was upside down, but somehow the water did not come on our heads. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. I love the Nomad Lounge. It's so good. They're talking and drawing and sketching. The birdie, the birdie, what? Oh, don't worry, the bird will move. <laughs> you are so funny. <laughs> she was like, stop, stop, the birdie, the birdie. I'm like, the birdie's gonna move, we're okay. <laughs> so now we're gonna pop into Island Mercantile and probably the other shop too, we're not sure yet, but the kids each have the opportunity to get a little something to take home. So we're gonna pop in there for a little fun bit of Disney merch shopping before we head back to the resort to prep for packing and drive home tomorrow. Boo. For me, the Disney blues set in now. Like right now. <laughs> it has been a wonderful last day. We were just standing here waving goodbye to the tree of life. Yeah, that's saying goodbye to Disney. Luke is very distracted with his awesome new saber. Yep. But it has been a wonderful day. And this park is gorgeous. And I'm so sad. <laughs> As usual. So it's, it's a mixture of happiness and sadness. Where's the happiness? The happiness is that we get to spend the time here. Sure, yeah. And we are, co are coming home with the same amount of children that we left with. This is my lucky day. It's a very good point. <laughs> Just kidding. No, really. I'm so glad that Lorelei had a good time. She got some really epic core memories. It's just been great. Lucas, take the cave. The okay. cave. The cave for the bouncy The cave of wonders. Bridge. <laughs> Follow but the cave of wonders. If you've been following along, thank you so much for joining us on our adventures. Cheers, everybody. And we send you lots of love. Bye. <laughs>